All right, so today we're going to take a look at Dr. Containers and see why we're at 85% down here for Doc. So I don't really have that many in there. And if you notice, I have plenty of disk space. So why is this Dr. Container at 85%? So to take a closer look at that, we can go to the Docker tab. We can come down here to container size. And then once the container size comes up, we can sit there and look at the size of our containers. So as we see, these are relatively small, but the Jupyter um, lab is like 10.6 gigabytes. So I know the default um, space for containers is 20 gigs. So that's taken up at least half the um, size right there. So that's really the one that's probably causing me the most problems. Now, to fix that, we can go in and edit some um, configuration and see if we can get that smaller um, <clears throat> by not writing to the app data. But just for the easiest thing to do, we can just go up here and just stop all containers. And then once they're stopped, we're going to go over here to the settings go to Docker, and then we're going to disable Docker and hit apply. And then once this pops up, you'll notice that, you know, again, the default's like 20 gigabytes right here. So I'm just gonna bump mine up to 150, just so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Enable Docker again by selecting yes, hit apply. And then once that comes back on, we're going to go back to hit done. All right. Now that we hit done and we're back at our settings page, we want to jump over to the dashboard page. And if you notice down here, we now have 12% of our Docker used. So we have plenty of more space for our Docker containers. And it's just as simple as that. I'm talking about I'll probably end up going back and try to figure out why that one container is taking so much space because it really shouldn't. But just a quick workaround, just expand the size of your um, <clears throat> space for your dockers.